everyone. Welcome to Creative Therapy with Michelle. This is Michelle with Serendipity House. So with the Painterly Roses stamp, there are different parts of the stamp. There are four sizes that are like the backdrop that go down first. And there's not a whole lot of definition on there because what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp this, the next one that goes on top of it for more definition. And then there's another that goes right on top of that. So I've taken out all of my bottom pieces, meaning they're gonna stamp first and appear to be on the bottom of my flower, okay? Um, the easiest way to do this I have found, at least until you get used to it, is to use um, a shade dark, medium, and light. So I'm going to take one color, and this is a pink, and I am going to mix myself. That was probably too much, but okay. I am going to mix myself. The first shade we're going to leave as it is, and I'm going to make a medium tone by mixing some white in. You don't have to do it like this, but I, and then the lightest tone, which I might have too much pink there. Um, it is a little intimidating because it's not a straightforward stamp. It's meant for stacking, but once you play with it and you figure it out, it is a really um, great versatile stamp. All right, I like that a little bit more. That's kind of bubble gummy. So the lightest color goes down first. So we're gonna use on all of these pieces that are the back drops, a light color. Now there, there's no rules. I'm just telling you like the basics for starting that I find easiest is kind of using this rule as you learn to build with a stamp. Next ones have some pattern in them. So these are meant to go on top of what we just put down. No rhyme or reason, just there's more of these than there are the bases. Just put down what you like. There's several of them. Um, this one I wait and put on last. Let's see. So we're gonna pick a couple we're going to use this one and we're going to use this one. That one will go down last. Okay, let's let's just start with these. See where we end up. The other thing we have which I'm going to do in the middle color is this. Now this is a rose bud and there's two different sides that we'll put in green that go over this that are the, um, the leafy part around it. And that is really pretty. 
All right, let's start with that. So we're gonna do our medium color now. Just get it on my brayer first all the way around and not stuck in one spot. Here we go. This one's a little trickier because I took it off the backing, so it's gonna be a little harder to pick up. Now you just wash these in soap and water, they're fine. You can see I've got a little bit of yellow paint residue on there. See now if, you had, if you'd left the backing on, you'd have something to hold on to instead of doing this. So I've dipped this into both colors and I'm going to kind of ombre this for the last couple. Still using with this, using the same palette though. One color and white. All right, so I got the second layer on those. Uh, I am going to do a bunch of these rosebuds. It's just drop a few of those in. Now I'm going to do several of these because there's two different leaf sizes. So right now they look like nothing, but they're my favorite part actually once, once the leaves are around them. All right, so now we're gonna do our third layer. Now the third layer is just more detailing that goes on the top and I'm gonna use the darkest color on these. All right, so this will go on the larger ones and then this on the smaller. All right, here we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see that take take uh, some dimension off. What do you think? You can can you see it all coming together now? It is. I'm sorry. It is a little harder to see on brown, but uh, slim pickings these days. Which I'm. It's so exciting actually to have room in my workshop that I am not complaining. I'm one of those people guilty of buying and buying and before I use up my stash. And so this uh, not shopping has been a good thing for me. look at what we have for leaves and stems. I've got those right down here. I've got a mess in the middle here on my table. All right, so here are some leaves and stems. And you're gonna see when I put these down that what is awesome about the leaves is that this is gonna go right around the flower like it's coming from the side. So now we do leaves. Actually, first before the leaves, I'm gonna do finish up those rosebuds because I just love these. So we're gonna use two different rosebuds. 
I am going to take this paint and I'm going to just make a couple of shades or try to marble the leaves by adding a little bit of white in. Okay. I'll grab my brayer and just kind of mix that on the brayer a little bit. Get it to roll. There. Okay. So first... have to not do these upside down drop it press it Be easier without the brayer in my hand all right so I think I want to go darker on these not do so much variation really hard to get this to roll on a rounded plate there we go I love it. These are so cute. What do you think? Can you see them okay from where you are? The color is looks so, so dull from at least where I can, on the camera from what I can see, but it is not dull in person. Now we're going to grab the bigger one. Maybe I will get a darker color for the bigger one. As you do this, you learn what is what works for you and some tricks to make it easier. Nice. Love it. They really do look like they're um, buds. That one moved a little, so even if it moves and it's in the wrong place, I still commit to it. Let's do some of these around the bigger flowers. This is when it all starts to come together a little bit more. Pull in some of that darker green here. All right, so these are curved, so you put them right like they're coming from behind your flower. You just have to decide where. And so they just need to kind of hug your design. Now, for me, being a visual person, before I actually used this, it was really hard for me to look at this and keep in my mind straight and visualize how this was going to go together until I saw the tutorial, which um, Josie has a uh, and Sally have a great tutorial from when the stamp was released. And after I saw that, that was when I jumped in. It's just a quick um, showing of them stamping and putting down the, the colors. Here's another one. These are a little bigger. Let's see how these look different. Now, I think the last time I did this, I didn't even do any branches to, to bring them together. You don't have to do, you don't have to do the branches part. It might seem like overkill if you have a lot of the flowers. I'm not sure if I'm using it or not. Although this seems kind of bare right here. Let's do that just to fill in a little bit of that. How's it looking to you guys visually?
going to start using a little bit of these. Now, I am pretty sure that, uh, well, that one's gone because I just dropped it in the pink paint. Uh, I am pretty sure that some of these that I'm using right now might be from Birds, Blossoms, and Branches because I, I mixed my sets up because that's just how I use them. Um, and I also have this that I'm going to use, which might be from Lady of Shalott. So let's just, uh, I'm going to use them anyways. I'm going to use them anyways because I don't know what I did with the other ones. So I'm still using my green. And I don't know, this might be too big. I'm going to use pieces of this to uh, put stems on my floating rosebuds. And I think on those actually I used a darker color. So let's they seem a little big but it's what I've got. And again I can you can sand them or Oh, actually, I think that works fine. That works fine. Let's see. And I kind of like them when they're like halfway there, half off, half, you know, half on. Oh boy, it is time to wrap this up. I didn't realize the time. I'm having so much fun putting this together. So um, I don't know what time I actually started stamping, but I am gonna say this is mostly done except for maybe some branches in between. What did I do with that? I'm gonna just put one down so you can see what it looks like. Show you the close up. All right, let's put a little bit on here. You can use these or not use these. I feel like it's actually, I don't really feel like it needs it. I'll put a couple of them on just to show you. So there is like a stem in the set where you can go and um, kind of connect. <laughs> I've used up all the space. I don't have much left to connect, but you can connect them like this so that they kind of look like they're on a vine okay so maybe here and and here So you get the idea of that, right? All right, yeah, that looks kind of good. <laughs> See, so you can see how rough this is that I was stamping on. Obviously, if you have a smooth white background, then uh, it's going to look a little different. I, I really think I'm going to rough this up a little bit because I think this is this was great on chippy paint. And you could see the um, these cute things. All right, awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much. Drop your questions here. Um, if you have any, I will go back and look at them tonight uh, when I'm done with work and answer. If I missed any, I'm sorry. I will get you, I promise.